So in this problem, uh, given that n is a positive integer, we need to find the summation from r is 1 to n of 2r minus 1 cubed, giving your answer in its simplest form. Hence, find the sum from r is 1 to 100 of 2r minus 1 cubed. OK, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is expand those brackets out. OK, so we've got the summation of 2r minus 1 cubed from r is 1 to n is equal to the summation from r is 1 to n of. Now, we can either expand these brackets um, progressively or we could use binomial expansion. Uh, I'm going to use binomial expansion to do this. So we're going to have 2r all cubed, so that's going to be 8r cubed. Then we're going to have 3 times 2r all squared times minus 1. So that's going to be 4r squared, so 12r squared, so minus 12r squared. Then uh, we're going to have 3 times 2r times minus 1 squared, so that's just going to be plus 6r. And then we're going to have the minus 1 cubed, so minus 1. So that's those brackets expanded. So this is the summation, well, let's write it as equals 8 times the summation from r is 1 to n of r cubed. Take away 12 lots of the summation from r is 1 to n of r squared, plus 6 lots of the summation from r is 1 to n of r. Take away the summation from r is 1 to n. OK. So we've got 8 lots of this one here. So 8 times 1 quarter n squared n plus 1 squared. Take away 12 lots of this summation here. So remember both these given in the formula booklet. 1 sixth n n plus 1 2 n plus 1 plus 6 lots of the summation from r is 1 to n of r. Now this one you're not given, OK? So this is one you need to know. So that's 1 half n n plus 1. Then take away the summation from r is 1 to n. Oh, I should just put 1 there, really. I should have put 1 there before. Apologies. Um, take away the sum from r is 1 to n of 1, which is just n. OK, so this is now what we've got to simplify. So let's just uh, simplify the uh, coefficients here. So we've got 2n squared n plus 1 squared. Take away 2n n plus 1, 2n plus 1 plus 3n n plus 1, take away n. Right, OK, so they all have n in common. So I can definitely factor that out first. So we've got n times. So we've got 2n n plus 1 squared. Take away 2 lots of n plus 1, 2n plus 1, plus... 3 lots of n plus 1, take away 1. OK, so this is equal to n times. Now I need to expand that out. So we're going to get 2n cubed. We're going to get 2n in there, so times 2n is 4n uh, squared. We're also going to get a plus 1 times 2n, so plus 2n. Then we've got take away uh, 4n squared. We're getting uh, 2n, 3n, so take away 6n, and then take away 2, plus 3n, plus 3, take away 1. Right, OK, so we've got uh, a 2n cubed. We've got 4n squared, take away 4n squared, so they're gone. We've got 2n, take away 6n, gets us to minus 4n, plus 3n, so minus n. And we've got a minus 2 plus 3 take away 1, which is 0. So we can now factor out another n. And so we've got n squared, 2n squared minus 1. And so that's as simplified as I can get it. So this next bit, hence find the summation of minus 1 to 100 of 2r minus 1 cubed. OK, so the summation from r equals 1 to 100 of 2r minus 1 cubed. Well, I replace the n with 100 
in this. So we get 100 squared times by two lots of 100 squared take away one. OK, so we've got um, 100 squared, so 10000 times by, let's just pop it in like that. So we've got 2 times 100 squared, take away 1, is 19999. So we have 19999 and then four zeros. So 199,990,000, like that. OK, so let's just double check that, because remember we've got a summation button um, on our calculator. So top right, so shift and then the X button. And then I can type this in, so 2X take away 1 all cubed. Got to use X rather than R. R is 1 to 100. And yeah, we get this. So that double checks. Uh, not just that we've done that right, but also that this was correct as well.